The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Welcome back to AM Northwest. Hard to start. Providence's annual 5K training program kicks off this month. And here to share more about what's new, we welcome from Providence Heart Institute cardiologist Jason Bench. Good to have you with us, doctor. How you doing? Good. How are you? Thanks Good. for having me. Yeah, for those who don't know what Heart to Start is, let's talk about it. Yeah, so it's uh, a program developed by our own uh, Jamie Beckerman, and it's a free 12-week um, interval training program that starts in November and ends in February with a 5K race. Um, it's a gradual training program for all participants from any level of experience, from walkers to runners. Um, and it allows patients to increase their level of physical activity during kind of the coldest, wettest months when most people want to stay at home and hide in a cave. Yeah, I know this has made a difference in many lives that people who couldn't really walk around the block really did well. Yeah, we see patients uh, not only increase their, uh, you know, physical activity, be able to walk further, run further, uh, do more physical activity than before, but we also see them improve um, their uh, heart risk scores by reducing uh, blood pressure, improving their resting heart rate, sometimes losing a little extra pounds, especially over the holidays. So um, we see a lot of benefit from this program including, you know, developing connections and friendships in the community, which is uh, one of the main goals. Yeah, absolutely. This is season 11. Anything new this time around? Yeah, so, you know, after two years of COVID and doing <laughs> yeah. only virtual, uh, we are now back to doing some live sessions. So we're really excited about that, being able to see participants in person and interact with uh, people and make those connections that we really want to. We also are introducing a, a strength program, uh, which involves uh, videos that are uh, introduced each week to in incorporate uh, strength training and resistance, and there's no additional equipment required. Uh, again, you can kind of build at your own pace, and it helps to kind of round out your physical fitness, uh, and so we're excited about that as well. I cannot believe it's it's the 11th time around here. It's just so incredible. Uh, are you a surprise? Or is anyone surprised about how well this has been doing over the years and the difference it's making in people's lives? I mean, I think the fact that it's been going for 11 years yeah. and each year we see more participants. We even see people, you know, with the, the um, option of a virtual um, training program, we see patients across the country or even some international people. And so... Um, I think that just speaks to the fact that this program really helps to connect people. It helps to motivate people, um, and it gets people. Um, it gives them a new sense of confidence of, about their physical abilities. And so we're really, really proud of this program. Yeah, you should be. Let's talk again about uh, so when it kicks off and how we can register and all of that. Yeah. So it's a, again, it's a free event. Um, it starts the week of November 28th. Um, the first in-person training events I think start on no on December 3rd. And everyone can go to hearttostart.org and find out more information about the program, register for the, uh, for the uh, training program, and also have other uh, helpful, healthy tips about your heart and heart health. Yeah, and also keep in mind, any ability is welcome. Yeah, exactly. All right. We want to tell everyone, if you'd like to find out more, we'll put all the information on our website at katu.com. Dr. Bench, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. You bet.